you can choose the so this is for the swpm import which means so in the system copy methods we have so homogeneous and heterogeneous right in the homogeneous means homogeneous means so we can uh, like uh, same system we can copy we can build a new system we can use it same system copy we can use the new system here so heterogeneous means migration suppose like os changing to the linux and uh, database changing to the so hana or some other databases whatever it may be right so that is called the migration if the source and the target are same but you are building a new system you are building a new system which means you are creating a new system which means that is called the system copy system copy method using the existing system export you are using the system copy method here just to use it then go to the whatever the database your task source database and just go to the source database if you are going for that target then you need to select the max db or whatever it may be but ours is the source db. so here we can choose the system copy option then target system target system standard standard based upon the as above then you can go for the so this one here right so above system you are building here so we are building we are going to build a new system here I hope you you guys are able to log into the server, right? So that uh, you can log in and you can do the practice. You have many systems are available. These many systems are not required. Why? Because we already completed the transports, client copies, all those things. Just you now what you need, you need to do the practice monitoring. So so that require that that you don't need these many systems in the system. It will be overloaded, overloaded in the system. So that's that's what here you can choose the typical same swpm installation option whatever you will get same system copy target system build so that one but here we are going to build a new system but we will not build it at the end we will cancel it why because it's we don't require one more system here so but we will go for the at the end of the procedure then while execution is in progress then we can cancel the the steps here right so let's see here what are the options we may get it out here so see here it is checking the the installed systems details and all those things here installed system details and everything it is cross checking here Yeah, so here you need to put the system SID. So because you are building a new system, you are creating a new system, copy of the your existing system. Our existing system is the NWD, whatever the users, whatever the configurations, whatever the data is there. You are creating a new system, copy of the existing system here. Same to same data will come here. So but SID may change it here. You can just change that sid also here we can change the sid also we can change it here same copy of the system we are creating here so that is what we are, are going to do here so here so see fqdn is not required. same install same installation how we got the steps same way we will get the all the steps the only difference is here instead of exports instead of export files here it will ask the so uh, the dump the exported dump the source system export dump database export dump which is there right here in the maybe here i think is wpf export so this will come so this one we have to give it to the system
just to verifying the passwords here. Okay. How many clients we have? No, in fact, we many clients. Okay. So same in the target also, you will get the 39 clients here. See here, here standard system copy method you are using are homogeneous system copy method, which means so attach, detect, or Microsoft backup and restore method and everything. Just we are using the standard system copy method. Standard system copy method means here we are using the source system export dump, right? That dump file we have to provide to the uh, SWPM tool here. That dump file we have to provide to the SWPM tool here. We have to give it here. So DB, DB database host name I have chosen here. So then it will check the log file, same log files here as well. SAP NST, SAP NST dot log file, same task list, same inputs. During the installation time, whatever the options we have chosen, same way we will get the options here. But except, so the exports, exports installation time, new exports we are giving, but here, the export dump we are giving here, export dump here. Here it is asking the kernels, kernel files it is asking here. So let's give the kernels here. So I think where is the kernel? Oh, I deleted, I guess, the kernels. The source, okay, so let me copy. Let me copy from SAP Windows one. So here we have SAP software, SAP software, so kernels. Kernel are extracted here, I think. Okay, let's copy these four files, kernel files. So what are the four files? CPEXE, CPEXE DB. Then what are the next files? Next files. So sometimes they may ask you, what are the kernel files you will download? Can you name it the files names? File names here. So what are the kernel names here? So the file names we have to tell here, like SAP EXE, SAP EXE DB, then all those things you need to explain. So these are the versions of the kernels and all those things here. <clears throat> okay, so it is copying. So meanwhile, let's open this one, go to the E drive. So where we have the SAP softwares here, just to kind of kernel option, you can give it here. Just again, once copy is done, just click on the next button. So it will validate it here. Main thing is SWPM kernel, then your export dump is required for the target system preparation activities. Sorry, target build, new build activities. The next screen, it will ask the, the dump, the dump which we generated here. So that will, it will ask. So then we have to provide the target system dump also. We have to provide to the users here. So this taking time. Meanwhile, uh, what I will do.
yeah, we can observe it here how many files are scanned how many files are reviewing sap exe sap exe db all those things are available here you can observe it here so sap sid so here i need to start the sum tool just extracting the sum tool So, SAP EXA. so these kernel files, these kernel files are very, very, very important. So, please remember these kernel files and everything here. Okay. Sometimes they won't ask you, they will ask you what are the files you will download from the SAP marketplace, SAP EXE, SAP EXE DB. So, so what is mean by SAP EXE? SAP EXE is the so DB independent file. So one, what about the SAP EXE DB here? This is the DB dependent file, which we have to download from the service marketplace that we have to download. That is what we have to explain. So export files, all are done. So then click on the next button. Okay, upgrade the host agent is not required. So this upgrading the host agent, add-ons, plugins, these all are the so add-ons actually, plugins and add-ons. See here now it is asking the migration export, migration export here. So that we we which we we got it right. That I think this is the one I am thinking. So this one we need to select it here, migration export. So maybe it is incomplete, it won't read. So it will give the error. If it is the complete one, then it will check. It will check, it will cross check the all those things here. Copying the instance.xml file. Last step. I think this is not the correct one, I guess. Error. TV size no DTD specified cannot validate it. So this is not the correct one actually. So that's the reason it's failing. That's the reason it is getting failed. So I think oh, where is the correct one? Anyone downloaded anything? Someone tried, I guess. Yesterday, the exports. Someone tried, I seen multiple exports and everything. 